Hello everyone, here's just two little tips on how to do poster presentations. Please imagine that this is a poster on the wall behind me. So if you're at a conference, you've got a great opportunity in which to put your posters up. Maybe they're on official poster boards or um, on, on walls, in poster rooms, poster halls, maybe just sit down the corridors. So you put the poster up and you've got the opportunity to stand by it, especially during break times, meal times, that sort of thing. Now, if you've produced a leaflet to go along with your poster, or maybe you've got business cards, leave those lying around by the poster as well. Because if you're not standing there at all times, at least somebody may come along and want to take away more details with them. So that's a great opportunity for you to get yourself known to others. So you stand by your poster, and as people walk by, try to engage with them, talk to them, because you never know who you're going to meet. It may be somebody who knows quite a lot about the subject that you've uh, presented here. And maybe they're going to be an expert and they can give you different perspectives, um, advice, contact details. You, you never know where this is going to take you. Also, if you've had to write your poster up as an abstract as well, uh, that should be published in the book of abstracts. So that's another way of disseminating uh, your studies to other people. So really great opportunities there. For those of you then who have to do a presentation on this, either at a conference or as part of your courses with this at university, if you have to make a video presentation, then this is what you normally do. You stand by your poster if you've got it, uh, but if you're at a conference and maybe they've got uh, poster demonstration sessions, so it could be that your poster is up in the hall and people can go and view it at any time, but then maybe each morning of the conference, before the main proceedings start, there are opportunities for everyone to present their posters. So it could be in specific rooms of particular themes for each one, so see what the programme says for you. And when you go along, you can put your poster up normally, but you might also be expected to show it on screen as well. So it could be that you've got it in PowerPoint or maybe on Prezi. Now, if it's a poster that's got a lot of picture image on there and very few words, and maybe the words are really big and people can see these at a distance, that's great. So you might only just want to show it on the screen as a full screen view of the one PowerPoint slide. And you're standing there and you talk to your poster. You talk about the poster. OK, um, however, if it's a poster, maybe at an academic conference where they've expected lots of text to be on it. Now, obviously, people sitting at the back of the room may not be able to see what's on your physical poster or on the slide. So you might want to make um, a few slides here or a few stages on a Prezi. The first one, as people come into the room, have that on in the background. And that's the welcoming slide showing your full poster so they can see exactly which poster it is that you're going to be talking about. But then, as I say, if you've got lots of text on there, you may want to have separate slides or separate stages on your Prezi where you zoom in on each bit of it. So maybe you've had to write stuff up as an introduction, maybe a rationale, review of the literature, um, findings, discussion, conclusion, and end up with your references. So that could be maybe sort of six or seven slides or six or seven points on a Prezi. But at least it's zooming in to each particular um, aspect of it so people can see this closely and of course what you don't want to do is to stand there looking at your poster and reading it out word for word when people can probably read it quicker than you're talking about it anyway so the skill here is have each of the sections up so if it's the introduction or the rationale or review of the literature they can see that, they can skim read it if they want to, but it's better if you know that subject area so well that you can present on that for the next few moments. Okay, so I hope this has helped. Thanks for listening. Bye.